Hi guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. This week I'm doing a plan with me and this is actually a collab plan with me with the PR team of Planning Like a Pro. The owner, Shani, she mentioned this and we all thought it was like such a good idea and we all decided to use the March Mystery Kit because starting the first week of April, the kit, the March Mystery Kit is revealed and you can get the March Mystery Kit for 15% off, which is such a good deal. I'm excited, but we are doing a plan with me, like I said. So Shani is doing it, the owner of Planning Like a Pro, and then Julie from Oh La La Juliet, and then Christy underscore plans with two S's at the end. She is unfortunately not doing this plan with me with us just because she is the newest member she joined last week. So she was not able to get the kit in time because we've had this planned for quite a long time, but we will be doing one in May with the whole entire PR team. So I'm really excited for that, but this week is still gonna be so amazing. So I will link all the links down below of Julie and Christy and Shani. So you can go follow them and subscribe to them and love them as much as I do. They're amazing, they're all so sweet. So we are all gonna be using this March mystery kit and I did haul this but you will not have seen that haul until probably this week because of the filming. Ugh, the footage got deleted but. So this is the kit, it is beautiful. I'm obsessed with the florals in it. I love florals and these date covers are amazing. They're probably one of my favorite date covers I've ever seen. And I love the yellow that was brought into this kit because I don't usually do a lot with yellow, but I love this kit and I'm so happy I will be able to incorporate yellow. I don't have many yellow stickers, but obviously the kit has yellow, so it's going to be beautiful and I'm so excited. This is my first Planning Like a Pro kit in my Erin Condren. I've done one in my EC, or not my, oh my gosh, in my B6, which I loved how that turned out, but unfortunately I did not film that, which I do regret. But I picked this kit up in Glossy. She does have matte as well, but I really, really do like her Glossy. And if you use the code AMANDA15, you can get 15% off, no minimum. But this kit for the month of April will be 15% off, so you cannot, unfortunately, do the 15 on top of the 15. So I'm gonna take the hello there in the sidebar. I cannot believe it's like the first full week of April. My mind is blown because it for sure doesn't feel like April where I live, it's cold. Um, I'm trying to think. I kind of like... Ah, oh, come on, dogs. My dog is... Oh, but I'm sorry if you heard my dog bark. I'm trying... I'm going to try to not let you guys hear that because it sounds atrocious. It sounds like an ogre. But my parents are out of the house right now, so I'm trying to take the time to film because usually I ask them to be quiet and, like, talk quietly for, like, an hour a week but we don't have much or like a lot of carpet in the house, so not nothing absorbs the sound really. And there's my dog again. But it's so funny because we have a, we have one of our dogs is blind, unfortunately. She's a Westie. She's gonna be 12 in May. And she is diabetic, which made her blind. And she always barks at people. Or when Cooper or other dog barks, that will cause Cooper to bark. Or that will cause her to bark. And I'm like, Tula, you don't even know what you're barking at. So, I have a little Westie named Tula. And then my big oaf of a dog is Cooper. And now my parents just got home. So, they're going to be barking there too. Oh my goodness. So, I used to film in the basement. But then I heard all the footsteps of every person walking. So, that changed. But now I'm in my room. But speaking of my basement, which is really random we got a peloton cycle bike which i've never really been a cycler if you guys watch my videos you know i'm a runner and i've done cycle a couple of times but i've just always just kind of been a runner but i never ran in high school or anything i just kind of started running last year my parents my dad has always loved to spin he has gone on so many bike rides. He has ridden his bike from Pittsburgh to Washington DC 
wants, he just loves to ride his bike. Yeah, so he's always liked to cycle and then my mom got into it. So they, a lot of times, will go to our gym and cycle. But we decided to get a Peloton bike, which is so neat. I, like I don't, I've never really been a spinner, but I've really enjoyed it. I've done it, I think three times and it's fun. I, I enjoy it. It's different, it's hard. I don't burn as many calories spinning as I do running. So that kind of upsets me because I feel like I sweat a lot more. So TMI, but. So that is my sidebar. I just have a tracker for this week, which I'm hoping to do workouts to get back into my routine because I've been slacking. I just, I've done three workouts in like the last week of spinning, but I'll finish my conversation when I put everything else down. And then I put school. I do not have school this week and I'll explain that as well, but I have a lot to do for school. So I did want to put a to-do list, I guess. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to figure this out. Um, so I have three of these, so and these need to be separated. Tuesday, Friday. I'm gonna do something that Christy Plans does. She puts them all like all in her hand. So I have three of these, so that Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday. If you guys can see this, this is crazy. But so I do like the spinning. The only thing is oh perfect. Is that I obviously I burn more calories running. But I can do it in my basement, which that's like the one part I do like about the spinning downstairs. I'm putting them all up in my tripod. Okay, perfect. <laughs> but it, what's really cool about it, it's not just like a typical bike. You have um, a huge screen and you can record, or not record, I'm sorry. But you can have classes that are on demand, so they're already pre-recorded, and you have an instructor instructing you. And I picked the really cute one, so no judgment there. So I pick the really cute one, and you can pick you can pick anybody. But there's different genres of music you can do, intensities, minutes, and different things like that. So I really like it because you can make it your own. And so if you're and I don't like going to spin classes. I don't know why. I've done a couple. My the family I babysit for one of the mom or I babysit for a couple of families, but one of the moms is a spin instructor. So I've gone to one of her classes, which I liked, but I don't know. I just because I'm not super confident in it. So I don't like to do it in front of other people. That's just how I've always been. I know, I don't seem that shy, but around certain things, I am very shy. Or the other cool thing about it is that they have scheduled classes. So you can do one like live, which is cool, but I like to do one the pre-recorded. I'm gonna take these foiled headers from Rose Colored Days and put one over each full box. And I did get an Apple Watch, which I really like. I, I've i had a Fitbit for a while since 2016. I lost one um, late 2016. Or no, I had one. I had like the original, I don't know what it's called. The original Fitbit and then I unfortunately lost it. I left it at a hotel and I never got it back. So I was really so upset about that. So then a couple, then for Chris, I lost that in October. And then for Christmas, I got one. And I really love it. Like, I love my Fitbit. Because I love how narrow, and not narrow, but like small it is. But the only thing is, I, it's not accurate, which sucks. Because whenever, I, when I ran my half marathon a couple weeks ago, it said I only ran 12 miles. I'm like, okay, this can is not right. Um, because I doubt that the San Diego Half Marathon would like lie about that. 
it's like okay that's not right it just kind of it was really and it just or if I was on the stair stepper it wouldn't count my steps if I was cycling it didn't count my calories so it only really does it when your arm is moving which I don't like we'll see how it goes but I'm gonna do I keep flipping back and forth I'm sorry I'm gonna do my tea covers these are beautiful they fit perfectly thank you Shani because I can put them up here and they're not covering the 2018 so it doesn't have to look all crazy but if you guys film your plane with bees um, and like let's say a week you don't film it do you feel like that's like the best plane with me you've ever done or like the best spread that happened to me couple, two times in a row because I have my EC and my B6 so I do every other so two weeks ago I did the EC last week I did my B6 this week I'm doing my EC so like this week I feel like I have a really really good B6 spread because I used a kit from let's make it sparkle which I will post a picture on the Monday and then last week I did a really beautiful spread with a kit from paper dove shop so just all over the place and of course oops 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 I didn't film it but I'm gonna take these flags from clever gal crafts these are in Miranda with the silver foil I'm bringing in silver this week any I just thought it'd be so pretty with the yellow because the cooler colors and then do my Sunday so I'm just leaving a little, little bit of a gap between the dotted, just to leave a little bit of white space. Oopsies, the teal and teal, that's fine. No biggie. And I'm going to take my date dots, and these date dots are from Print 6. And... I just like them because they're silver and they fit perfectly in the little circle. So I'm going to use, should I use the yellow? And then I'll do this pink. So I'm going to do all of those and I'll be back. Okay, so I put the glitter headers down and I just used the yellow and the pink. And this week, I'm surprisingly going to do checklists. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but I love these, and I just got these in, so you have not seen these yet. But they're from Sadie Stickers. They are her, they were one of her $2 Tuesdays, but I picked them up later, and they were like part of the oops. So I got them for $1, and they're just the pink with the silver foil, so they matched beautifully. So I wanted to do that, and I'm gonna use my rose-colored days to do headers because these are beautiful do that and just take a little checklist these are adorable I love the little bows they remind me of the oh, that's so cute they remind me of the paper blush bar ones so I'm just putting so I'm putting the to-do in the checklist over the yellow headers just because if I put it over the pink, I feel like it may be a little too much pink in that little area. So I'm just going to do that. But I did my first week of student teaching and I loved it. The kiddos were so cute, and they were just so much fun. They were third grade, so I haven't 
done much of third grade because I just taught, I was part of a junior achievement and so I taught five lessons to third grade but um, I was just in there for an hour so I only saw them during that time so I haven't done much with third grade but they're so big. I thought I, I'm 5'7 and I thought I was tall. Like I'm pretty tall for a girl I feel like. I could be wrong, but a lot of my friends, I feel like, are like five seven or um, shorter than me. But all these third graders are so tall. Like I should feel big just because I'm like in college, because the school I'm at is K to eight. But I don't feel as tall. Like these eighth graders are looking down. I'm just like, I still don't feel like I'm walking through the hallways. I'm just like, I should feel so like tall and in charge. No, I don't. I feel short, which is funny. They were so, they're so much fun. They warmed up to me very quickly and they drew me some pictures, which was so cute. And I've always been a fan of math. So they had these, I forget what they're called. They're like little video, they look like little video games, but their math and I asked them to like make it really really hard and they were so impressed that I was able to do it but it was just like simple multiplication or like five times eight and 48 divided by six stuff like that and I mean I was I've been doing that my whole life so but they were just so impressed and I felt so special I was like wow <laughs> I'm really smart but mark work this week I just work twice I'm just gonna take a little tiny tiny piece of washi that I think it's a little smaller than the header. but So I don't have a class this week. Well, I don't have student teaching this week. So that's just how I'm gonna mark work, just really little. Because they are on spring break, which means I'm on spring break because my classes are done. I only have one class this week, which is Tuesday. Monday, I just wanna work on a paper because I have a big paper due Tuesday. Okay, so I have these laptop stickers from Piper Paper Company. These are her laptop flat lay stickers, and if you use the code AMANDA20, you get 20% off. And I'm gonna take a school header from Rose Colored Days and put that there just to mark that I will be working on the paper I have due. All right, and then for Tuesday, I have my paper due, so I'm just gonna take one of these assignment due stickers from Rose Colored Days, figure out how I wanna mark that. I'm gonna take these half box, because these half boxes are so cute. Mm, I'll take the yellow one, because I'll put it right here. And because I don't have school this week, I'm gonna try to get a lot up for YouTube and just really be on top of my Instagram and YouTube this week. And just my whole planning. Because last week it was kind of hard just because I was getting accustomed to teaching and I was really, I wasn't that tired, but the first day, I got there. I don't know if Honey Hut is all over, but we have Honey Hut, which is just like a little ice cream place. And I put in the address of the school and it sent me to Honey Hut. Like 7.30 a.m. on a Monday. I was like, you can send me here anytime, but not right now, I have to go to school. So that was my first day and I could not find it. So and I also do have a class and then I do want to have a video go up I'm hoping, so I'm gonna take a flag from the kit and then take a little icon from Rose Colored Days. And these are her YouTube icons. And then I do wanna work on my paper, I have a paper due this day, but then I have, so I'm teaching some lessons next week. 
so I have to plan those. So I can work at Starbucks, which is nice because I live really close to one. So I can go next week. I always feel like I get more done when I have a lot to do. Like if I don't have a lot to do, and I feel like I procrastinate more and I'm like more lazy. All right, so I think my camera cut off a little bit, but I just put this little, my new Seduction arrow with a little filming sticker from Rose Colored Days. So now for the second half of the week, Thursday, I just work in the morning. So I'm gonna take a piece of washi and put that right here. And this is actually the second time I'm filming this second half of the week. I had to pull everything up and I'm redoing it right now because I forgot to hit record again after it stops recording. So I forgot to hit record and I was like, lovely. So I'm doing it all over again. But I just took a flag from the kit to mark that I want to upload a video and then I again took the YouTube icons from Rose Colored Days. And now for Friday, I just want to film and work on my lesson plans. So I'm gonna take this same little duo. I'm gonna take a arrow from my newest addiction. And these are just the regular ones. They're not foiled or anything. I don't know which direction this goes yeah, because this direction. And then I'm gonna take the little filming and this is so cute, I love these. It's like the old fashioned camera. So that's just to film. I wanna try to put two Plan With Me's up this week. So I'm gonna try to do that, but we'll see how that works. And then I'm gonna take a laptop sticker from a Piper Paper Company again and put that right here to mark that I wanna work on my lesson plans. Did you guys know if you have like a tea or a coffee at Starbucks and you stay there, you can get like a free refill? I just figured that out. I haven't done it yet, so maybe I will get a tea or something and I'll try it. But I'm next, I'm going to take a weekend banner from Rose Colored Days in the Silver. So there is the weekend banner. But I'm excited for her to reopen and like restock everything because I'm running low on a lot of things. So next I want to, oh I'm going to have a video go live on the 8th. So I already cut it and everything but I just took a piece of washi and I made it into a flag. Because I like how I marked the other videos so I wanted to kind of keep it structured a little bit. So. I'm gonna try to have an Aaron Condren plan with me and a B6 plan with me up. All right, so this is the full look at the spread. I think it's beautiful. I'm obsessed with the floral and the yellow and I love how it turned out. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, My Life Stuck on Paper, and follow Shani, Julie, and Christy on Instagram and subscribe to their YouTubes. I will link all of them down below. And don't forget to check out their videos. I love their videos and I love how all their spreads turn out. They're always beautiful. So I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.